Topic two. Ito ang first week chronicles. First week chronicles. Ay naho guys. Do you remember your first ever week in LB? Of course! Sino ba hindi nakakaalala sa first week na sa college? Da! Kunyari, marami nangyari sa first week ko. Marami nangyari sa akin first week. Pero I think yung pinaka-memorable... Yung first night ko sa dorm, umiyak pa ako, tapos tumak. <laughs> umiyak ako, tapos nag-text ako sa mama ko. Grabe, sobrang baby naman. Pagkahatid na pagkahatid sa akin ang parents ko dun sa dorm, tapos namin ayusin yung gamit ko. Ayun, pagalis nila, umiiyak talaga ako. <laughs> it was hell. I was away from all the people that I loved. It, it was like I was on another planet, basically. Very alienating. Kasi syempre parang wala kang kilala halos. Parang nakakilala ko lang dun ay yung mga high school batchmates ko. I didn't know anybody. So, that was an interesting week. Pero after noon, parang ayaw mo na ulit umalis sa LB. It was really refreshing for me. Kasi papasok na ako sa school, sa dream school ko. Super excited! Shit! Diyos ko na! Oh, something, something. Hindi kami halos makatulog, ganyan. Kasi parang syempre excited. Excited yung everyone. Kasi ang daming event. Syempre pag freshy ka, ang daming nakalinya sa yung event. Ganyan. To welcome you. May mga freshman night. Convocation. Ganyan. Pinaka-memorable ay yung campus tour. May block siya ginagawa. Eh, hindi ako aware na may block. Uh, you get to know your blockmates, diba? Pagkata sa may block GC na agad, so you get to meet your mga, mga, few, mga classmates mo. Para kami nakikipag-eyeball, so umaga nung campus tour, naghahanap ang kami sa ano, sa F Park, tsaka sa SU. So, I mean, uy, ako yung din sa may tabi ng puno, nakakulig rin ako. Uy, ako yung nakatote bag, nakikita mo ba? Kumakaway ako sa'yo, o. Oh. I will thanks. And then, yung almusalan. Yung mga organizations, mga student organizations ay magpe-prepare ng almusalan for the freshmen. Merong isang freshie na kumuha nung, <laughs> nung ulo nung lechon. May kumuha daw nung ulo nung lechon. Tapos nalaman ko dorm mate ko pala yun. Kailangan mo talagang i-turn on yung pagka-ninja mo. <laughs> Kasi kung hindi ka-ninja, well, makubusan ka ng pagkain. Tapos pagdating ko, wala ng pagkain. Wala na. Ubos. So, ang nahanap ko na lang noon ay mga upuan para sa orientation. First week ko, basically, puno na yun ng ano, ng kain sa labas, usually ganun. Dami pang bukas na ano noon, ng mga kainan, tapos wala na ngayon. Unang araw ko, nag-meet kami ng mga BE Social Course. Kumain kami sa Bonitos. <laughs> Hindi namin alam na mahal pala doon. Yung one week allowance ko, nabawasan agad ng tumatiging ting na 200 pesos sa isang dinner. Sobrang saya ng first week ng LD ko. Wala pa ng first week ng LD. I came from the online batch, the first online batch of freshies. So it wasn't really what you'd expect as a first week. Puro online webinar, online convocation. Google Forms sa so walang kamatayan. Buong week, nakatutok lang ako sa laptop. O diba? Ang memorable talaga. Hindi ito yung first week of college life na ina-imagine ina 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 ko. Sino nga ba naman mag-aakala na hanggang ngayon ay online class pa rin? Naiinis ako na wala akong interesting na kwento dahil online nga lang siya. So gumising ako ng umaga, maaga, nag-ayos, nagpaganda, para mag-klase. Ang una kong klase sa LB sa bahay, sa Zoom. Diba? Pangit first week in UPLB online? No. Pero ayun, wala talaga akong alam ng online setup na yun. Like, nakakapa ako. Like, super classmates, paano ito? Sobrang hirap talaga. Halos araw-araw ako nag-breakdown kasi sobrang hindi ganda ng environment ko sa bahay. Kung the other way around siya, I feel like my first week in LB would be me exploring around and I'm with my course mates. Yan. I hope and I expect that somehow in the near future, may face to face na, it will happen that way. What aspect of the LB life made you feel culture shock? Sa inuman. Inuman culture. Inuman culture is the one that made me feel culture shock. Kahit pasukan, like make up sila tomorrow. May inum pa rin sila. Tapos first week, the first week, may party, may seven starter. Like, nakakabigla, but at the same time, ang cool. Yung inuman doon is 
tubig na lang siya sa iba. Isa pala sa na culture shock ako is yung sa language. I have to learn more Filipino words. Ang daming mahusay mag-English. Yung mga kasuis ko. <laughs> Pag nagre-recite sila, magugulat ka na lang feeling mo ang bobo-bobo mo. Ganyan. <laughs> I'm not very fluent pag nagpi-Filipino around people. Yung iba kasi natatakot ata kapag bedrecho yung English mo. Especially kasi pag strangers, hindi ko kaya makipag-usap ng Tagalog. Nakukutan ko talaga ako. Minsan yung mga words na ginagamit na habang nag-uusap, hindi ko naiintindihan. Inaral namin na Tagalog back in Cebu. Akala ko yun yung Tagalog na ginagamit sa buong Luzon. Tapos pagdating ko dito, yung pagsasalita ng mga South, like umuulan, exact of na ulan. Tapos pagdating dito, na ulan. Nakain. Isipin mo, sinabihan ako, nakain ka na. Tapos pa, I want to be completely honest. And because coming from a conservative background before, I was a, I was a conservative person. So, sobrang na culture siya ako. The freedom na na nakuha namin bilang isang student. Everyone is open to one another. Medyo control yung environment ko. Nung college, I was given some liberty from my parents by you know, living alone, LB being more free. Di ba sa high school, sobrang higpit ng mga school sa pananamit mo. Hindi 3 inches above the knee, dapat hindi sando, kulay ng buhok mo, natural. You can wear anything, you can have any color of your hair, you can cut your hair no matter who you are. Kalbo ka, it doesn't matter. It's a very fun time to experiment with your clothes and your identity and your expression. It's the perfect time and the perfect venue, beauty. I studied for 11 years at All Girls Catholic Private School. So, mas malaki yung community, mas diverse. As in, sobrang diverse ng LB, LB community. Na you literally meet people from all walks of life. Pero once na nakapag-adjust ako, it felt like home. Like truly, it felt like home. And nahirapan ako umalis nung, <laughs> nung nagsuspend dahil nga sa COVID. Siguro one thing na hindi naman ako ng culture shock, pero nare-realize ko na, oh, ganito pala dito yung org culture ng LG. Yung organizations din. Definitely org culture, but we'll get to that in the next video. Hey there! Thanks for tuning in to Catch Up Season 2, Episode 2. What are your first week stories? Comment down below and let us know. Catch Up Season 2 is brought to you by the UPLB Common Society in partnership with Circle K Club of UPLB, the Philosophical Society of UPLB, the UPLB Jobs, Umalohokan Incorporated, UP Guru, UP Silakbo, UP Veterinary Medical Student Society, and the UPLB Street Jazz Dance Company. Follow us on all of our social media accounts at UPLB Common Society if you'd like to see more. That's it for this video and we'll catch up with you later.